finally getting the hang of this. Okay, so it's my last episode, for now, anyway. But uh, someone's getting shot at the end of this. And this is the gun in the first act. That's right, we will reveal our new host by the end of this episode. And I don't want to give anything away, but when you guys see who it is, you're going to freak the hell out! Oh, that analogy came in handy. What, that, that's the sound guy? <laughs> Senior science writer and editor... <laughs> Senior science writer and editor at Gizmodo, Jennifer Olette, has written one of my favorite reads in these last few years of being a professional reader, Me, Myself, and Why. I recommend this book to anyone who's gotten tired of the usual fluff found in self-help books. Jennifer talks about what it means to be a human, and she roots it all in scientific fact. This book was the first book I have ever read that made me realize I'm not a freak of nature, and that ultimately we're all weird as fuck. Now, I'd be lying if I said that this was a light read. However, Jennifer is an excellent science communicator and she makes it very easy to follow advanced concepts. She also keeps a brilliant life science blog under the avatar Jean-Luc Picant, entitled Cocktail Party Physics. Follow her on Twitter, at Jean-Luc Picant, and check out her book on Amazon. Do it. Do it now! Ah, War Machine. The main competitor to Warhammer 40k. In this war-torn, magic-wielding universe, you play either a War Machine faction controlling giant steampunk war robots that are dope, or as a Hordes faction controlling giant beasts. Now what I love about this game is, unlike Warhammer, you can play a small point value game with just a handful of minis. They even sell a super convenient battle boxes that come with playable armies right out of the box. Now being a Crix player, myself, um, I can attest to how fabulous this game is and how easily it lends itself to an exciting narrative. So, like, Warhammer is awesome and all that, but ain't nobody got time for that. And since this is my last episode, I'm gonna do something I've always wanted to do. Pew, 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 pew. 14 hours, this is going really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you're dead. laughs> Team Human, oh, not today, Gallery Nucleus is a fantastic art gallery based out of Alhambra, California. They tend to focus on quite a lot of pop culture and nerd culture based art shows. For example, last year I went to an Avatar The Last Airbender slash Legend of Korra art show that they hosted, and it was so choice. Nucleus is great at featuring new and burgeoning artists, and the best thing is, even if you aren't local, all the art and all the prints go up on their website and are available for purchase. Seriously, you could spend hours getting lost on their site through all of the subversively nerdy pieces that they offer. Here's my uh, stick figure Chorus Army art. Pretty stoked on it. I think they'll accept it. That's it for my run here on Signal Boost. I hope you guys get a chance to check out all the stuff that I was able to share. My time here has meant so much to me. Let's take a look back over our journey and remember the good times. But enough of that. It's time to announce the worthy successor to the Antenna of Destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. Here's your host for the next round of Signal Boost. It's Nathan! Billiard! Hector? Sorry, sorry everyone. What do you, what? I th you guys told me you were gonna get Nathan Fillion, or at least like a passable equivalent for web formatting. All of the white and male models were out of our price range. Oh yeah, yeah, no shit makes sense. It's cool, dude. I've got this. <sighs> oh yeah. I, oh yeah, you got this. Yeah, yeah, I've played with one of these before. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, Marisha, we're trying to do a show. Oh, here. yeah, no, so, uh, yeah. You, Boom. Thanks. You're welcome. You're the best. No, you are. And I'm in. <sighs> Signal boost! Ha!